Hello viewers, welcome to another part of Muslim Freedom Fighters. Countless Muslim women participated in the freedom movement. Prominent among them was B. Amma, mother of the Ali brothers, Malana Muhammad Ali and Malana Shaukat Ali. Her real name was Abadi Begum. She was fondly called as B. Amma even by her grandchildren. She was one of the greatest women to have, a, have ever participated in the freedom movement. Her dad was also a freedom fighter. She lost him at the age of 5. When she was at the age of 28, she lost her husband to plague. In spite of all these difficulties, she did not lose her courage. She had 6 boys and 1 girl child. She used everything that she had in their upbringing. She gave the best education to all her children. Her children, Manana Muhammad Ali and Manana Shaukat Ali, went to Aligarh Muslim Anglo Oriental College for their education. Her, their uncle who was providing some financial help stopped doing that when they started pursuing English education. But this did not stop her. She sold her ornaments to continue their education. Her son Malana Muhammad Ali went to England to continue his higher education. Her son Muhammad Ali tells about her that she might not have received any formal education but she was one of the smartest women that I have ever seen. One incident can be remembered over here. A British officer by the name of Sir Charles Cliveland sends the Deputy Superintendent of Poli Police, Abdul Majid, to Muhammad Ali and Shaukat Ali. They were serving an imprisonment at this time. To reduce their imprisonment of two and a half years, they were given an offer to make an agreement with the British government. Maulana Muhammad Ali, after reading the letter, starts to write something on the letter. Their mother, Biyamma, who was around, tells to the British government that yes, my children are given very bad treatment in the jail but they have been going through all this with great patience but if they come to terms with any agreement with the British government my hands are still free enough to kill them and they are still strong enough they are the warriors of Islam and this country and they will continue to be so she had great love towards freedom she devoted her whole, whole life to win freedom. She even devoted her two children for the same cause. She had a great feeling towards the freedom fighters who were in the jail. In one of the letters, Biyama writes about the freedom fighters that my heart goes out to those hundreds of youths who are arrested in the jails. They have lost their freedom. Has our organization, Home, Ro Home League Movement, done anything for them? Have we collected the data of these normal freedom fighters apart from the leaders who have arrested? Have we done anything for the families of these freedom fighters? She had great care about those freedom fighters also and not only the leaders of the movement. She was the member of the Indian Women Committee which was set up in December 1917 to meet Mantigo. She was also the member of the second session of the Congress in December 1917. She came wearing a white burqa and holding a stick in her hand. Mrs. Annie Besson came forward for her, for her help in this session. In her address, Mrs. Annie Besson says about B. Amma that we have the mother of Maulana Muhammad Ali and Maulana Shaukat Ali along with us. She is a true patriot and a devout Muslim. Although she is full of motherhood, she has a heart of a lion. Difficulties and sadness do not affect her. She is proud that her children are a part of the freedom movement. She was the president of the All India Women Congress session held in December 1921. This session was held in Ahmedabad. Kasturba Gandhi, Sarojini Naidu, Begum Hazrat Mohani and others were also present in this session. Talking about her participation in the Khilafat movement, Gandhiji writes in the newspaper Young India that she participated like youngsters even at that old age during the Khilafat movement. She travelled across the country to gather support for this movement. Hindu-Muslim unity would not have been possible without her. She has gone through great difficulties for this. In 1921, when the investigation of Ali brothers was going on, one Sadai Khatun writes a poem under the title Voice of the Woman. The poem goes like this Boli Amma Muhammad Ali ki Saat Tere Shaukat Ali bhi Jaan Beta Khilafat Pe De Do 
جان بیٹا خلافت پہ دے دو صبر سے جیل کانے میں رہنا کچھ یوں اپنی اماں کو کہنا جو مصیبت پڑے اس کو سہنا جان بیٹا خلافت پہ دے دو فاسی آئے اگر تم کو جانی فاسی آئے اگر تم کو جانی کلمہ پڑھ پڑھ کے فاسی پہ چڑھ جانا مانگنا مت حکومت سے پانی جان بیٹا خلافت پہ دے دینا This poem is famous even today in Urdu literature. Diyama passed away in 1924. Writing about her demise in the newspaper Young India, Gandhiji writes that it was very difficult for me to believe that she is no more. There might not be anyone who was not influenced by her personality and speeches. It was my pleasure that I was along with her during her death. Swami Shraddhananda Saraswati in a Shraddhanjali in Patawdi House of Delhi says that no one had the ardent aspiration of Hindu-Muslim unity as much as her. The courage she showed during the freedom movement was not even shown by great political stalwarts. Praying to Almighty Lord that He grant the highest place in heaven to this freedom fighter, we end one more part of this series that is Muslim Freedom Fighters. Please share and subscribe to our channel. Jai Hind!